Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Pabli. So in this video, we will be learning that how we can get the notifications on WhatsApp whenever a customer submits the form on the Jot form. So the idea here is that you have created a contact form on your Jot form account. Now you have shared that form with your customers on various platforms like social media platforms or websites or you have shared the form personally with your customers. Now you want that whenever any of the customer fills that contact form, automatically you should get a notification on your WhatsApp number. For that, we need to link Jot form with WhatsApp. So first let us check this in the real time and then we will move on to the integration process. So this is the contact form which I have created using Jot form where I have asked for the full name, email address and phone number of the customer. Okay, and this is the WhatsApp number of the form owner. So now we want that whenever any of the customer fills this particular contact form, automatically the form owner should receive a WhatsApp notification on his mobile number. So let us fill the form first. Let's give the full name as Adam Smith, email address as Adam Smith, 33 at the rate Now I'm going to add the phone number over here. Let's click on submit. Thank you. Your submission has been received. Okay, so the form has been filled. Now let us check the WhatsApp number of the form owner. And here we can find a new message. New submission received. You have received a new form submission. Customer details are name, Adam Smith, email address and the contact number. So now here you might be wondering that I just filled the form over here. That is the contact form. And automatically the form owner has received a WhatsApp notification on his mobile number. So how did I manage to do this? Let me tell you, this has become possible just because of the automation and the integration process. So in order to create an integration between JotForm and WhatsApp, we are going to use a software application named Pabli Connect. So basically, Pabli Connect is an automation on integration software which will help us in integrating JotForm with WhatsApp automatically. The best part here is it doesn't require any coding skills or programming knowledge. Even a non-technical person can use this software application very easily. So first we have to create an integration between JotForm and Pabli Connect. Then Pabli Connect is going to capture the details from the form that the customer has submitted. And using all those details, automatically a new WhatsApp notification will be sent on your WhatsApp number. And in this way, we will be learning that how we can create an integration between JotForm and WhatsApp using Pabli Connect. So in this integration, we are using JotForm to capture the form responses. So in place of JotForm, we can even use Pabli Form Builder, Google Forms, Paper Forms or any other form building software application and we can get the notifications on WhatsApp. So let us learn the integration process now. For this, let us type P-A-B-B-L-Y, Pabli.com in our browser. This is the website of Pabli. Here we have to come to products and click on Pabli Connect. This is the landing page of Pabli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free option. You can create your own account in just 2 minutes by clicking on this option. As I already have an account with Pabli Connect, I'll simply click on sign in. In the all apps section, come to Pabli Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, Come to this plus sign and click on create workflow. Here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as JotForm to WhatsApp integration. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now here we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this use case, we want the form submission details to be captured from JotForm. So I'm just going to open this trigger window. Here in the choose app, let us find JotForm. In the trigger event, let us select new response. Now here we can see a webhook URL and some instructions. Open your form in the form builder. And click on the settings tab, go to the integrations, search for the webhook and paste the above URL in the add webhook field. Okay, so I'm just going to simply copy this webhook URL from here. I'll just take you to my JotForm which I have already created. This is my JotForm account. 
where I have created two forms, new customer registration form and the contact form. So here we can see that we have zero submissions in this particular contact form. So we are going to use this form. So I'm just going to click on edit form and I'll open it. Here I have asked for the customer details. That is the full name, first name, last name, email address and the phone number. If you want to add some more fields, so by clicking on this add form element, you can add the fields as per your requirement. Okay, so now we have to create an integration between this particular form and Pabli Connect. For that, come to the settings tab. Here we can find the integrations tab. Click on integrations. Here in the search bar, we have to search for web books. This is the web books. Click on it. Here it is asking for the add web book. So we are going to simply add the web book which we have copied from Pabli Connect. Okay. And click on complete integration. Okay. And here we can see that the integration is ready. So let's click on finish. Okay. Now I'll just take you to my Pabli Connect and here we can see that it is waiting for the webhook response. So in order to capture the response, let us uh, make a submission in the JOT form, that is the contact form which we have created. So here we have to come to the publish option. Here we can see link to share option. This is the form link. So you can share this particular link with your customers in order to capture the responses. So I'll just open this link in a new tab and let us give the details of the customer over here. I'm just going to give the first name as Shikha, last name as Arya, email address as Shikha Arya 25 at the read gmail.com and I'll add the WhatsApp number over here. Okay. And let's click on submit. Thank you. Your submission has been received. Okay. So the form has been filled. Now let us move back to Pabli Connect. Okay, and here we can see the responses received and all the details that the customer has filled in the form are captured over here. Okay, here we can find the first name, last name, email address, along with that all other details related to the form are also captured. So now we want that using all these details automatically a WhatsApp message should be received. So we have to come to this action window and here in the choose app let us find 360 dialogue. In the action event, let us find send template message. Click on connect. Click on add new connection. Now it is asking for the API key and domain. So let us read the instructions. Enter API key here. You can create API key in your 360 dialog account. Log into your 360 dialog account. Move to WhatsApp account page from the left sidebar and click on generate API key button. So I'll just take you to my 360 dialog account. So this is the dashboard of 360 dialog account. I have added the link of 360 dialog in the description box. By clicking on that link, you can reach to 360 dialog application and get 360 dialog service at a very affordable price than the actual price. Here we have to come to WhatsApp accounts. And here we can find generate API key option. Simply click on this, generate the API key, copy that API key, go back to Pabli Connect and paste the API key over here. Now, once the API key is generated, the same API key can be used for various different connections and workflows. We don't have to generate the API key again and again. Now, the domain is required. Enter the domain here, which you will get while generating the API key. Example is also given. So, we are going to simply copy this example from here and I'll just paste the example over here. Now, whenever our account is approved, we get this particular domain by default. In your case, if you get some other domain, Please paste that domain over here. After pasting API key and domain, simply click on save. As I have already created a connection, so I'll just choose this option that is select existing connection and I'll click on save. Okay, and now the 360 dialog account is connected to Pabli Connect. Now here we have to select a template. So template is simply a message that we want to send on the WhatsApp number of the customer. So as we cannot send the messages directly on WhatsApp, First, we need to create a template. We have to get it approved from Facebook. And once the template is approved, then only we can send the messages on WhatsApp using that template. That is the reason we have to select a specific template over here. So I'll just take you to my 360 dialog account once again. Here we can find manage templates option. Click on this. Now here you can see that I have created several templates and got it approved. If you want to create a new template, 
simply click on this plus sign add template here you can give the template name as per your requirement from here you can select the category various categories are available okay from here you can select the language of your choice here you can select the template type and here you can give the template body text that is the message that you want to send on the whatsapp number then click on preview and submit then it will be going for the approval and once this template is approved you can use this template for sending the messages on whatsapp so i'll just close this template and i'll just open the one which i have already created and got it approved that is new submission received okay yes this one new underscore submission underscore receive i'll just open it here i have created a simple message new submission received you have received a new form submission customer details are name email and contact number so here we can see one two and three numbers in the curly braces so these are the body fields and the values of these body fields are going to change every time as per the form submission here the customer name will change here the email address of the customer will change even the contact number will also change so we are going to use this template that is new submission receive here in public connect so let us find the same template over here that is new submission receive Now here we can see that the namespace and the language code is automatically captured. So we are not going to make any changes over here. And here we have to map the recipient mobile number. Enter the recipient mobile number with country code. So in our use case, the recipient will be the form owner who is going to receive the WhatsApp message. So I'll just add the form owner WhatsApp number over here. Okay. Please remember to add country code before the WhatsApp number. And remember here we have to map the WhatsApp number only. Okay. And as in the instructions it is mentioned, we have to enter it with the country code. So as we are in India, we have added plus 91 before the number. So you have to add your country code before the number. Okay. Now here we have to map the body field 1, body field 2 and body field 3. Here body field 1, that is the full name of the customer. So we have already got the customer details from the JOT form submission. So we are going to map all these details now. Okay. I'll just scroll down. Let us map the full name of the customer. That was Shikha Arya. Okay. Shikha as well as Arya also. Let us map the last name. Okay. Here we have to map body field 2. That is the email address. So I'll just find the email address. Okay. This is the email address. And body field 3 was the phone number. So let us map the phone number over here. Okay. And now let us click on save and send test request. Okay. And here we can see the response is received. Now let us check the WhatsApp number of the form owner. And here we can find a new message. New submission received. You have received a new form submission. Customer details are Shikha Arya, email address and the contact number. Now here the things to note are the body fields and their values. So this was our body field 1 that is the name customer name. Body field 2 was the email address and the contact number of the customer. So here we can see that all the values of the body fields are correctly displayed in this message. So in this way we can see that our integration is working fine. So let's move back to public connect and let us save this workflow first. Data saved successfully. Okay now we have to check this in the real time. For that, we are going to just make one more form submission. I'm just going to open the form. And this time, let us give the full name as Kuldeep Gupta. Let's give the email address as guptak22 at the rate gmail.com. Okay, and let's add the phone number over here. Let's click on submit. Okay, the form has been submitted. Now let us check the WhatsApp number of the form owner. Okay, and here we can find one more new message. New submission received. You have received a new form submission. Customer details are Kuldeep Gupta, email address and the contact number. So here in this way, we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. So I'll just move back to public connect and let us minimize all these windows and we are going to see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. So first we have created an integration between JotForm and Pabli Connect. Then Pabli Connect has captured all the details of the customer from the new form submission. And using all those details, automatically a new notification is sent on the WhatsApp number of the form owner. And in this way, we have created a successful integration between JotForm 
and WhatsApp using Pabli Connect. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. In case of any queries, you can connect us to this Pabli forum. To check the pricing details of Pabli Connect, you can visit this particular URL. Also the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video and this video are helpful for you, then please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.